Hey guys, it's Chris, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I built some wall lamps for my new bedroom. These lamps can be controlled with an app on an iOS or Android device, or voice controlled with a smart assistant like Alexa. Multiple lamps can be synchronized to have matching animations, and with a little bit of extra work you can even make them react to sound. One of the first things I did when moving into this room was install these LED lights around my ceiling. Unfortunately, my new room doesn't have crown molding like this, and since I'm not a fan of the way LEDs look when they're just stuck on the wall, I decided building some cool lamps that have acrylic to diffuse the light would be the best option. Lucky for me, I'm always in the mood for a new project, especially one that uses LEDs, so let's jump right into it. The brains of this project is going to be a Wemos D1 Mini. Each lamp will have one of these boards flashed with WLED, which can be found from GitHub in a link in the description, but I'm going to talk about that more later. The Wemos D1 Mini is an Arduino compatible board, but some advantages are one, it's super small form factor, and two, it has built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. This is what's going to allow us to connect to an app on our phone and even smart devices like my Alexa. In addition to that, there's a lot of open source software available for these devices, such as WLED, which is what I'm going to be using, which I'll get into later. To really make these lamps pop, I'm going to be using alder wood, which I bought from Home Depot in a few different sizes, and these acrylic sheets that I got off Amazon, and you can find a link to these in the description. The idea is that I will cut out a frame in wood, glue everything together, and spray it with a clear coat to really bring out the nice color in the wood and the grain. Once I have the wooden frame built, I'm going to be installing panes of acrylic that have been sanded down to have a frosted look. This will diffuse the LED light from behind, and hopefully it'll create a very cool look. When I got the idea for this project, I spent a couple hours scrolling through YouTube and Google Images trying to find a lamp that really had the look that I wanted. Unfortunately, it didn't exist, so I decided this would be a great opportunity to design my own. The lamp that I am making has three panes of acrylic, each separated by a beam of this alder wood that has a nice light but rich color to it. Hopefully the whole thing together will have a nice glow, the acrylic will diffuse the light which will light up the room, and the top is going to be open which will allow the LEDs to shine out and hopefully leave a nice glow on the ceiling as well, like the LEDs in my room currently have.
The programming process is way simpler than my other projects since I usually do all of my coding by hand. Using open source software, all I have to do is click download on the latest version and use ESP Flasher to install it to my board. If you want more details on how to install WLED, I'll leave a link to Dr. Z's video down in the description. He has a lot of videos on WLED that are very helpful and they're what I used when I was first getting started with this. Once WLED is done flashing to the board, we can plug everything in, open the app on our phone, and we can set everything up from there. This is the moment of truth. If everything goes correctly, it should light up orange when you plug it in. Here we go. And it looks good. One thing I will say is I don't really like how easy it is to see all of the individual LEDs and I will probably be replacing this strip with a higher density strip. This one is 30 LEDs per meter. Um, I think I want to replace it with either 60 LEDs per meter or maybe even a 144 LED per meter strip. If you want to make this project for yourself, I have all of the plans on my Instructables page. You can find a link down in the description. Most of my projects have an Instructables to go with them and I enter a lot of them in contests and actually that is where most of my traffic comes from. So if you want to help out my channel, drop down to that Instructables page, scroll down to see if there's a contest currently running and click vote now. It really helps me out. As of right now, a majority of my viewers actually come from Instructables. So if you're watching this on Instructables right now, it would mean a lot to me if you could head over to my YouTube channel and leave a like or subscribe. I'm really trying to upload content more regularly. I'm aiming for at least once every two weeks, if not once a week. So it would mean the world to me if you could leave a like down below or maybe even consider subscribing. As of filming this, I have about 300 subscribers and my goal by the end of the summer is to hit at least 1,000. I'm a new creator. I'm doing this mostly as a hobby, but I'd love to see this channel grow into something more. But that's enough talking for me. I'm sure you guys want to see how the finished product turned out. So let's queue up some B-roll, slap on some royalty-free music, and let's see how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, leave a like, subscribe. I'm really trying to grow this channel. In the future, I want to revisit this project and maybe make a few more of these lamps. I also want to add built-in microphones so they can have built-in sound reactive modes. I'm not quite sure how to add this functionality in while running WLED, but I'm going to do the research and as soon as I figure it out, you guys will be the first to know. I also have a few more videos I'm going to be uploading in the next few weeks. One of them is a music reactive Arduino visualizer that you're not going to want to miss out on. I actually really enjoyed doing this project and I hope to have that video up soon. In addition to that, I also revisited my LED wall, so if you enjoyed that video and want to see some of the new features I've programmed in, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!